Um, my name is Trini Wee and I'm a sexual health clinician. Um, I work at Parramatta at the Western Sydney Sexual Health Clinic. Um, we're a freely accessible, um, publicly funded sexual health clinic and we have a branch also in Mount Druitt. So we focus on priority populations and we offer testing and treatment for HIV and sexually transmitted infections. The staff specialists also participate in the HIV support program, which offers support for new diagnoses um, for the patients and for the um, general practitioners in our area. There are lots of goals of treatment. Um, I guess in the big picture, we want our patients to be healthy and happy and live long, productive lives. Um, but to get to that ultimate goal, um, we want them, in as far as HIV goes, to be engaged in care, to take their medication, and ultimately, as, as, as far as clinically goes, we want them to have an undetectable viral load and a robust CD4 cell count. Adherence to treatment um, maintains a good relationship the patient has with health services. Um, it's very important because I think everybody um, has busy lives these days. They have lots of different aspects to their lifestyle and um, these can and different health aspects as well. And these can all in, impact on somebody's ability to take their treatment and to engage in care. So adherence is extremely important. It means that we can monitor people and pick up things earlier than than when they actually might become problematic. Um, we can make sure that our patients are well supported in um, uh, a psychosocial way as well as a medical way. So it's, it's extremely important. Uh, studies have shown that patients who are engaged in care live longer, healthier, healthier lives. If, if they need supports for housing, then we can help them with housing. If they need financial support, then we can help them with financial support. Um, if they have problems accessing care for any particular reason, so they might not be fluent in our health system, um, they might come from different cultures and backgrounds, so they don't know the health system well or know their rights. Um, all of these things we can facilitate to help them maintain um, good relationships with healthcare. I, community pharmacy um, will be able to dispense HIV medication. And I think that's very important because patients who live in rural areas and remote areas um, may not be able to easily get into their tertiary hospital to pick up their medication. Anything that allows easier access to treatment and to care um, will benefit the patient. Retention into care is ensuring that there's good engagement um, with, your, with your patient. And that can mean a whole lot of different things. So it might mean that they they attend for appointments. It might mean that they follow your health advice or other, other practitioners' health advice. It might mean that they attend appointments that you've made for them. Um, it might mean that they answer their phone when, when you ring them. Um, there, are different, there, are different, there are different definitions depending on the needs of the patient and the specific circumstances of the clinical service, for example. But it's an ongoing dialogue with the patient um, in, a clinical, in a clinical manner. Ensuring retention into care also benefits the patient. It has been shown to um, increase lifespan. It's very difficult for some patients, particularly those with comorbid conditions and mental health um, concerns. Uh, also, patients who come from different cultural backgrounds, it can be very difficult. Uh, costs can, be, can also be difficult. And I think looking at what the barriers might be for the individual patient and trying to work through those um, will benefit and, and ensure good, good uh, retention into care. There's no one, one solution for everyone. There's a lot of non-government organisations which can support the patient. Um, there's also a lot of government services which support the patient. Um, depending on where they live and what their needs are, um, I think that you could list quite a few, but really it, it, it depends on what on what needs there are, but there are services available.